thank you all for coming back for another video this is our lotus birth of our beautiful baby girl this is her beautiful placenta it's just so thick and healthy and we love it so much but this day our midwives helped us prepare the herbs together because i mean we just gave birth and they just wanted to make sure that everything was good so the herbs that we are using are yarrow root rose petals himalayan salt chamomile and i think that was all um but what they're doing now is just preparing it at the bottom of the bowl and then we're going to move the placenta over into the bowl and then cover it again with more herbs so one of our midwives right now she's handling it very carefully not pulling or struggling and what she did before which we had questions about was why didn't she wash it but they um if you can see back there there's a little gauze thing and that's what the placenta was soaking in so all the blood the excess blood on the outside is stuck in that thing so you don't have to wash it so now they're just preparing more herbs and putting them on top and spreading them around we want to make sure that all the herbs covered everything and the reason we picked a certain herbs are honestly just for smell salt is the only thing that is needed to preserve the organ but the rose petals the chamomile the yarrow root that was for smell Hey guys, so this is day two. Day one. Okay, this is day one. Sorry guys, I'm just so super excited. We've been up for three days, and as you can see, the, the um, blue core is still fairly fresh. And it's already drying up. Already drying she up. She was born at 1:48 a.m., and it's now what 11:44, mm. and the blue core is already starting to dry up. So. I'm thinking that it'll fall off in like two or three days. Oh, and we found out something pretty cool. You want to swing so bad? Because I ain't got the mental capacity. Oh, swing. okay. So most placentas, um, the cord is attached in the middle. But Melinda's placenta is at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Which is very rare. It's rare. Like that doesn't happen often. And normally when they see that ultrasound, they get nervous because she could easily snap this. But they did not tell us in our ultrasound. We only had one ultrasound, so... I think it's pretty amazing that she's already super rare. And then lastly, not lastly, but always, Melina. And then I was like, my idea was to protect them edges, so. That's why she has this bonnet on. She has a lot of hair. She has a lot of hair. Look at that. We ain't capping. We ain't capping. <laughs> you feel me? Boom. She's like, Mom, what are you doing? Sorry, baby. All right, we'll catch you guys later. So for the most part, Mommy and Linda all got to stay in the bed. And I'm going to call 24 hours. Cause I'm the best husband slash daddy now. Best husband ever. So go update. So yesterday we gave it a fresh batch of herbs and seasoning. As you can see, it's really getting dark. I'm pretty sure she got all the blood out of this bad boy. Mommy's breastfeeding. I got the worst camera angle, but that's kind of it right there. But that's the full day and about eight hours so far she's doing well she's the sweetest girl ever so we'll catch you guys there as you can see real quick you got my beautiful wife Yana glowing and you got baby Lindog oh we got the baby Lindog glowing too as you can see her umbilical cord this is day three officially and it's starting to really dry out so, Becoming way more difficult to move around. Way more difficult, like a hard stick attached to her. And she still feels it, so you gotta be super careful. But she's sunbathing, baby girl sunbathing. I don't want no vitamin D deficient mm -hmm. winter babies. Mm -hmm. You are glowing, girl. You had a good breakfast, she has some good tit tit. <laughs> uh, we'll keep you updated, it's day three. So what he's gonna do is dust that off with the cloth that's underneath and take most of that off. Slum of it off. <laughs> Just dump it, Treat the mm, We're doing all this uh, mainly because we wanna make sure that she gets every ounce of nutrients that this beautiful organ has made for her through the entire time she was in the womb. Um, and most of all of these, like we said earlier, are for smell because this 
is a decaying organ. <laughs> so the salt is to dry it up. Wait, first you put it down first. Oh yeah, that's on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. This one, I'm gonna say this one honestly is the reason why it has dried up so much because I looked up yarrow and it's good for lead loss and that's good make sure you cover it fully that's the whole point is just to cover it fully good that's good perfect good job so now all we have to do is go get another burp cloth to put on top. Oh, we were doing that before again. Because it smells her a lot and oh, 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 she be sneezing. Right, sis? She eating right now. Okay. Gotta go. So I'm just gonna see if this works. Oh my goodness. Yes. <gasps> Yay! Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So we decided to clip her placenta because it was getting really, really difficult for us to move her around or do anything, honestly. So we figured by that time she had lost or gained all of the blood from the placenta. So there was nothing else in there. It was just attached to it because really healthy. But it took about 10 days on February 28th is when her little stump fell off. But we were so happy to, sorry y'all, it's so much wind and I just got my hair straightened. But anyway, um, we were so happy to have it clipped off because we hadn't been able to hold her like this in three days. You know, the whole time we had her, we were only been able to hold her like, like this. So it's been, it was really amazing when she did clip it and it just felt freeing for Milena, but also for us because we could move her around and not feel like we we're gonna break her. But we are very grateful. There's a hair tie right here. We are really grateful that we were able to have the lotus birth, even though it was only three days, four days, honestly. Um, had the lotus birth because of its significance of its health for Lena. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Really? <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> So I really don't know what I'm doing, but my thought process was to get some fresh soil, put the soil in, then put the uh, placenta in, and then put the, the root of the plant on top of the placenta and dirt, and maybe make a little sandwich combination. So yeah, I'm about to figure this out. So just... I think that's a good idea and a good plan. Thank you, Placenta, for doing everything that you were supposed to do for our baby girl, giving her all the nutrients and the love and affection that she needed while she was inside. And thank you for allowing us to plant you in this beautiful peach tree. Peach tree? Peach tree. Yeah. Okay, so that. Something right there. You still can see the Placenta pretty good. I just want to get it enough for us to see the Placenta. And we look good. Look at that melanin popping. <laughs> One more out. So yeah, we're officially done. We just planted Melina um, plant placenta, right? And a peach tree that's right there. We're officially done. And we appreciate you all for coming along and stay tuned for our next video.